For adults who are looking to continue their education or enhance their career, the library has an online platform to prepare for success. The Learning Express Library provides continuing education preparation, adult skills center, and a career center. My name is Erin with the Warren County Library, and I'm going to show you how you can access the Learning Express Library. We're going to start here at our website, which is www.warrenlib.org, and we're going to click on Research A to Z Databases. We can scroll down in alphabetical order through our databases, and we're going to select the Learning Express Library. And you can see that we can log in from home, log in from the library, or access on a mobile device. We're going to log in from home. Once we're in, we can either sign in and or register. Once we're in to sign in and register, we're going to enter in our username and password and log in if you've previously used this before. If not, you're going to register as a new user. You're going to log in with your library card number and it'll link you immediately with our library, Warren County Library. And you're going to put your first name, your last name, your email, any password that you will remember, and you're going to register. And again, if you've already logged in, you can log in. Once we've logged in, we can see that we're at My Center and it shows all of your information stored here for any work that you've completed as long as you hit Save. For an adult who would like to improve some skills, we have the Adult Core Skill tab. You just click on one of them below and you can see the different options they give you. They have tutorials, practice sets, or which are actually practice tests, and ebooks that you can download and, and read. For an example, we're just going to click on one of these and you can see that there's a practice test. You can start and it gives you the total questions, the duration, and you can choose what kind of test mode you want to take your test in. And then it, this will time you and you can jump a question, answer the questions, and you can always finish it later. And when you're finished, you can also score my test. So if I want to finish later, I can save this. And all your information will be stored in your center. You can see that there's the test saved for me. If we go back, we can look at the other skills that are offered becoming a better reader, there's reading comprehension, vocabulary, and we have public speaking, ebooks. What we're to look at an ebook, we're going to download an ebook. It'll download in a PDF to your computer. And here we have the document downloaded. It's 188 pages. It's public speaking success in 20 minutes a day, and you can just read through. Once you've downloaded your ebook, you can go up again to My Center. And you can see that the ebook is right here. You can go back and download it. Or if you wish, you can always delete. We can go back to our home page. And here we have Computer Skills Center. And if we click on any of these tabs, we can start with basic introduction of our computer, parts of the internet, including social media tools. Software tools such as Access, Excel, PowerPoint, Word, Microsoft Office, Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe Photoshop, and even Windows Operating System, Windows 10, 8, and 7. And they all offer tutorials for you to learn your systems better. For adults that are interested in improving their education, we do have a high school equivalency center. And you can see if you're ready, you can check your skills. And you can also build some skills. You have some skill builders, teach tutorials, and ebooks, as well as preparing for your GED with ebooks, flashcards, tutorials, and practice tests. We do have it also in Espanol, and then there's other tests that you can prepare for as well. For adults that may be wanting to continue their education post college, we do have options to prepare for graduate school admission exams. So there are different practice tests and ebooks and tutorials that you can use to prepare yourself for any of these exams. And again, you can just click on one of these tests and you can start your test. Okay, and here we are at the practice test. It gives you two questions and your test time and you can choose a test mode. I'm going to choose simulation. And it gives you a time and you should be able to respond and you have the option again of finishing later or complete your test. So if you're to finish later, hit save. 
And again, everything is in your center where everything is stored for you. And there you are. If you are interested in continuing your education and going to graduate school, we do have an option here for Discover Schools and Scholarships. And you can see that you can take a, a scholarship finder and a school finder, and you can fill out what you'd need to to continue your education. You just answer the questions. You may choose five areas of study. And it gave me 476 different schools. And if I choose two of them, I can compare them. And here it, it compares the two that puts them side by side and you can decide which one might be a better choice for you. You can save your comparison and it will again save it in your center. And you can also go back to your school list and you can download and print this list. We can go back to the scholarship finder tab. And we can open that up. And here we can look for different types of scholarships. If we know that we're looking for potential master's degree with our SAT score, and we can choose what kind of award we want to look for. Do we want to look for a scholarship, a grant, fellowship? If I were to only want to look for one option here, I'm going to hit search. And it gives me over 2,000 options here. And you can save certain ones, and you can also delete some. And to learn more about the scholarship, you just have to click on it and read the details. And again, you can save them. Everything will be saved in your center. And if you go back to my center, you can click, see down below where everything is stored for you. You can go back to our homepage. And if you are an adult looking to perhaps make a career move or prepare for a different career, we can learn more about the different types of exams you may have to take for certain occupations. Um, if you want to join the military, there are different exams you must prepare for, and there's practice tests and ebooks for some of them. And we also, if you happen to be in the situation where you want to change your career, we do have career changers options here. For adults who are looking for maybe a change or a different career, we do have a find a career match. And here you can take a little test. It's an interest matcher and a skills matcher. When you pull up the interest matcher, it asks you to answer questions with, with your likes and dislikes. And you fill it out the best to your knowledge and you just fill it out completely. And then you submit your answers. And it brings you with what your, your matcher is, your current preparation level, and you can click on view matches. This will bring you to different types of occupations. There's secondary occupations as well. And if you click on any of them, you can see that it brings you to a new screen. And here it gives you more information, it has a short video, wages and trends, looks like this job is on the rise, knowledge and skills, education, what kind of education do you require? And you can even look for jobs. And again, you can save the job. If you're an adult and you're looking for a job, the first thing you'll need is a resume and cover letter. We have a build resume and job letters resource here. There's a career tool launch that you can start. And there's also some good tutorials about how to create a great resume and cover letter. If we were to begin to build our resume, it gives you the option of creating a brand new resume or you can even upload an existing resume. If I were to create a resume, I would continue to fill in the prompts that it asks you. So you can add in information, including your address, and you just have to click on, you have to hit save though, every single time. And what it'll do is it'll just save your information. The more you add in, the more you can save. 
and it just builds your resume for you. And when you're all finished, it will save this document for you. And again, it will be in my center and it will be listed here under the career dashboard. And there's your resume and any cover letters you have. You can also look for jobs. I'll show you where that is. If I were to look for a job, I'd go back to this job and career accelerator and I'd look for jobs and internships. You can actually search right here. You can also click below jobs and internships. And you can see, you can change your options from Indeed or to USA Job Search. USA Job Search or federal jobs, Indeed would be, um, it could be anything. So I'm going to type in a teacher in New Jersey. And see what kind of options we have. And you can hear, see here on the side, it has my resume and I can choose one of those to use. And again, if I had cover letter, I could attach those as well. I'm gonna search for my job. And you see that my results I have here. And again, they're within a certain miles distance. I can change my options here. I can save for these jobs or I can apply. If I were to apply for this job. And once I've clicked the apply for the job, I bring up a new tab and I'm in an Indeed tab. And here I can apply for my job. And I can also save this within Indeed. So it does link it with Indeed. That's a good uh, website to use for finding jobs. Once I've looked through all of these Indeed options here, I can switch to USA Jobs. If I were to switch for new USA Jobs, and again, I type in teacher in the state of New Jersey, you can search. I found no jobs. What if I wasn't sure what I wanted to do and I just wanted to look for federal job options? I could just put in the state and see what kind of opportunities exist. There's 430 federal positions available. And again, I can save or I can apply if I hit apply. If I pull up USA Jobs and here is the job and it gives you the overview with a salary and you can apply for this position as well. Thank you for watching this tutorial about the Learning Express Library through the Warren County Library. We wish you all the luck in your career success.